and we're back with our Dumbo probe here. Uh, it's Johnny again with you, and of course, last time we had some issues because our RCS. Uh, well, we didn't have RCS tanks, <laughs> which explained why our S RCS thrusters didn't work. So you know that happened, but it gives me the opportunity to add the lights that I showed you last time. So we have a, a couple lights here. And I'm thinking I'm gonna pack a couple small lights in the inside. Whoa, okay, those are huge. Hold on. Need like small lights. What's going on? What's happening? Give me small lights. Okay. God, the camera here is horrible. Okay, we got some lights in there. <laughs> it's fine. And we're gonna try to put this thing back here. Hopefully it works. Yes. Okay. So, we're ready to launch. We know everything else works. And we have like a ridiculous amount of fuel on this thing. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not too sad ab about that because it's not going to go to waste. Uh, well, can you load, please? Apparently there's a problem. Alright, try again. I'm not too worried about having extra fuel because the whole point of this is to be like a fuel station as well as a relay satellite so if we have like a ton of extra fuel that's only gonna work to our benefit as far as I see it so we're gonna launch here let's monitor the fuel tanks I kinda like how it looks it looks a bit silly but honestly it's kinda cool It does help a lot with aerodynamics, the ferry, so... Alright, it's those. So remember, the plan here is to get to the moon with this, and then we have a mission that tells us a specific orbit we need to match. And we're gonna do that and we're gonna name this probe after Lawrence Krauss is a pretty interesting guy if you don't know him check him out on YouTube he's got a lot of videos he's a, a pretty good communicator but also he's he's done a lot of interesting things in like quantum physics and so on and he has a book about how it is plausible that the universe came out of nothing so you know that's pretty interesting stuff, if you're into that. Uh, well, I shouldn't say... Well, yeah, he defines what he means by nothing. It's like a, a weird thing, but... Basically, out of, like, quantum fluctuations... He says it's possible our universe was created out of that. So, that's a, a bit, a bit mind-boggling, actually, when I read about it. So we're at 74,000. We again, we this time we have RCS working as you can see because we packed some tanks. We're just going to wait a little bit until we're higher up. Just going to enjoy this silence here with no music, of course. Let's deploy our fairing. We're going to align ourselves get ready to burn and music kicks in we're just gonna start burning now you can see our fairings just getting dumped on the earth there sorry about that mother earth Just paying a lot of attention here so we get a good orbit. 
again, it's kind of ridiculous how much fuel we have. So we, we're a little bit spoiled at this point. Our fuel tanks. Cool. We can just cut our throttle a little bit. Wait until our APOAPS closes in a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna be naming all our probes after like cool scientists. Mostly cosmologists and like physicists, I guess, because it's what fits the theme. And I, d I recommend you check Lawrence Krauss. He's an interesting guy. Again, he he does even like debates about religion and stuff. But what I think is most interesting about him is like his ideas about quantum physics and so on. And he has okay. What are we doing here? Okay, we got pretty good orbit. So this is business as usual for us. We just set the moon as target. And we're gonna look for an encounter. But yeah, he has a, a really cool book, uh, which I recently read called uh, "I Think the Greatest History Ever Told." And he talks about all the things like that we understand or we seem to understand uh, nowadays about quantum physics, and it's it's basically a really good book because even if you're not very familiar with the topic, it's it's something you can understand quite quite nicely. You don't necessarily need a degree in physics to do so. Okay, so we got a we got a decent approach there. Happy with that. Let's just uh, warp to here. Let me grab a bit of my coffee here. So we have a pretty good periaps to the moon and when we're ready here we're gonna position ourselves along our maneuver nodes. We can extend our solar panels just because it looks cool. We're just gonna watch our our timer there can speed up a little bit all right let's burn messed up the the key there we're a little bit delayed but we should be fine just stick ourselves in the node here but yeah I do listen to quite a bit of uh, folks talking about astrophysics and stuff I find it quite fascinating I don't know I, I can't do the math or anything, but I do find enjoyable to to kind of be exposed to the concepts and like findings that people have managed to to get together, and it's I find it fascinating, honestly. So we're gonna just pay a lot of attention here. Let's try to do our maneuver as accurately as we can. Hopefully that got us where we want to be. It did. Perfect. So let's just speed up all the way there. So step one of the mission, already a success. We have a pretty good approach. Now step two is going to be getting in orbit around the moon. Whoa, they changed colors? Oh, this is the mission orbit. I see. Cool. Alright, so let's just set up our maneuver here. I'm gonna go retrograde to create a stable orbit. And we're gonna do something like this. Seems fine. Whoops. 
accidentally alt tabbed. Um, all right, let's warp a little bit closer. Bring up our nav ball. Five minutes to burn. Position ourselves. Okay. All right, let's just speed up a little bit towards our approach. Alright, it's fine for us to start burning here. It doesn't need to be very accurate. It's just uh, about creating that stable orbit. Alright, we got an orbit. Now, we need to match this against the other orbit. So, also make sure we're moving in the same direction which we are, that's fine. So I'll tell you what, I mean, okay, this is an interesting one. We could also take the temperature measurements. We do have quite a bit of fuel, but I don't think that's the mission here. I don't wanna conflate two missions, to be honest. So I think what we do is wait hold on no 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 I didn't want to do that I just got confused uh, uh, there for a second because I thought we didn't have a, a fuel tank but we, we do have it it's fine so let's see what is the best way to go about this well let's try to match our APO apps and peri apps so we are roughly at periaps right now which means we can easily match so let's go 243 so let's go prograde and because we have that big fuel tank our maneuverability is a little bit uh, hurting here but we're gonna point ourselves prograde I'm gonna burn a little bit until 2.43. And stop, okay. Well, eh, close enough, that's fine. So now we're gonna go warp to Apo apps, and then our peri apps is gonna be 198. So again, go prograde here. And come back. All right, so I'm gonna just go slow here. 198. All right, roughly. Dude, the music is killing me, how it kicks in like that. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so let's go to the descending node so this is the point where the our two orbits coincide so let's create a maneuver node here and since uh, since it's a descending node we're gonna burn normal and we're hopefully gonna be able to get something that's very close I think this seems pretty close to me, so let's go with that. Uh, got a bit closer here. And another sip of coffee. Keeping that caffeine high in the system. Uh, let's find our normal vector. Okay, got it just gonna speed things up a little bit until we get there all right stop we're gonna get ready to burn this is gonna be a five second burn so I'm not gonna go full throttle here I don't think 
and because of that I'm just gonna start burning a little early all right let's see where where that left us pretty good honestly I think this is pretty good so then the other thing we might have to correct is the radial direction a little bit again we're, we're in a good spot to do this because we're not really at the intersection but we're we could go here which is another intersection of our orbits and we're gonna set a maneuver node and we're gonna correct a little bit we're gonna go like a little bit anti-radial there and then oh, just try to reduce our orbit a little bit just trying to get like a, a very close orbit to what to what's requested I think this is pretty good honestly so again let's just warp a little bit closer And then we're gonna find the maneuver node on our nav ball. Okay. Gonna speed things up a little bit. Pay close attention to the time there. Whoa, okay. Almost overdid it. Again, gonna burn like not full throttle because it's a small maneuver. How about that? Yes! Reach the designated orbit around the moon with reasonable... Dude, we've done it! We've done it! Look at this! Beautiful. Our moon satellite is in position. We still have 422 meters per second delta V in this tank. Which, you know, it's not bad. We'll leave it like that. We'll turn on our lights. Maybe not the most spectacular of lights. <laughs> I didn't want to overdo it in case, um, you know, in case they consumed too much electricity. I didn't really do the numbers on that. But I think we have a good setup here. We have an easy access dock with some illumination there to help. We can even grab some science. Oh, we got no science because we've already collected some from here. Uh, we can probably try the materials bay. Okay, no science. Well, a little bit sad on that one, but you know, that's fine. I mean, the main goal of this mission was to just have this station up and running. Not really, you know, to grab science out of it. And now, the situation we have now is that uh, you know this will serve as a relay so if we have any any probes further out they're gonna be able to communicate to this and then indirectly uh, via this to earth and then you know that's gonna be great for us and then the other thing we talked about is we have a ton of fuel here 2000 meters per second Delta V um, most of it in this tank here so we're you know, at some point we're going to be able to ditch this tank. Alternatively, we can send a mission to fill this big tank here. And then we have, like, a lot of extra Delta V. And anything that docks here can transfer the fuel from, from this ship to, to the other ship. So, I think this is going to be very valuable for us. It's like a peace of mind thing. You know, you have a safety net there if something goes wrong. And the other thing we're going to do is name our probe here gonna it's a relay and we're gonna say the Kraus relay as we talked about so there you go Kraus relay operational <clears throat> at this point we can return to our space center our mission is complete we have gotten some cash out of that mission which is great we can now check perhaps there's another cool mission we can undertake 
explore the mun. Ooh. Rendezvous two vessels in orbit of the mun. We get a little bit of science out of it. Not too much. To be honest. But I think we'll take the mission. Because if anything will give us the ability to um to practice docking, right? Because well I was saying that it's a safety net having the the, the relay station there. But we got to make sure that we're able to actually perform the, the maneuver, right? Otherwise, it's pointless. Um, what is this? Oh, this is another mission? Okay. So, we still have these uh, temperature measurements we want to take. Which is fine. It's an easy one to do. We got the first step of our relay network. I'm thinking I'd like to have another one around Minmus, but we don't necessarily need to do that straight away. Instead, um, instead what I think we'll do is send another mission to to the moon, I think. And essentially what I want is to get to the point where I can build a rover and then we can like deploy the rover on the moon and grab a lot of science from it but we're still a little bit a ways from that so maybe what we'll do is send out a mission to grab the temperature max let's see max the ascent power 50 G that's not a lot is it 250 G so maybe we need to do that if we wanna have like long range yeah I'll tell you what I'll give that some thought and we'll reconvene here next time with our next adventure but for now thanks for watching I've been Johnny take care peace out